Well, hello, scrappers. Um, today we're going to do a mail call episode. I got a package here from uh, someone who watches my channel, a fellow scrapper named Nick who lives in Iowa. And uh, we've been communicating back and forth via email for a while. And he said he was going to send me a couple of kilos of chips to process. Nick has access to a lot of older telecom equipment and he sent me some photos of his workshop and quite frankly I'm jealous. He's got stacks and stacks of really great boards, uh, lots of gold fingers, lots of IC chips on them. Um, he's He's been depopulating the boards. He has bins and bins full of miscellaneous IC chips. I mean it's just the kind of stuff to make a scrapper like me salivate. Anyway, Nick sent me was going to send me a couple of kilos of IC chips because he's been trying to process them the way I do and he doesn't think he's getting as much gold out of them as he could be. So he wanted to see how much gold I could get out of a couple kilos of his mixed IC chips. So he was going to send me some, but he sent me some other stuff too. It's really nice. So here's, ooh, that's a heavy bag. Yeah, there may be a couple kilos just in that bag alone. And here's another bag. Just a mixed miscellaneous IC chips. Looks like they may have been depopulated from the boards with, maybe, I don't know, I'll have to ask Nick how he does it. Maybe an air hammer, an air chisel maybe? I'm not sure how. But, uh, ooh, there's a lot of chips there. So, uh, we'll see what I can get out of them. And then he sent me some other stuff. He, there's a bag here of miscellaneous ceramic EEPROMs, which kind of ripped open and a lot of the EEPROMs got mangled, but that's okay because these are just going to process. I think the idea was that I process these and see if I can get anything out of them too, although it looks like Nick has already checked and pulled out the ones that have gold in them. Don't blame me a bit, Nick. I would too. So there's a, a bag. It's probably yeah, there's a couple pounds of ceramic, miscellaneous ceramic EEPROMs in there. Um, he sent me, he said he was going to send me some tantalum capacitors. Well, here's a big bag. Yeah, it's mostly tantalum capacitors in there, that's for sure. So I think I'll have to sort through it. Oh, that is a heavy bag. That is heavy. There's another couple kilos right there. Uh, but I see some, uh, a lot of tantalums, yeah, but I also see some diodes. Maybe some um, polyester capacitors. Yeah, some like maybe silver mica capacitors. And some ceramic disc capacitors. All good stuff though. I just have to sort through it. Looks like there's a few transistors in there too. Thank you. Thank you, Nick. Now, We were discussing getting the tantalum out of these, and I'm going to have to learn a lot of new chemistry to do that, so that may take a little while. I'm not sure how long it's going to be before I can get around to processing these, and the tantalum capacitors have already been uh, stockpiling. It may be quite a while. I'm going to have to do some research, some learning, some book learning, to figure out how to process tantalum capacitors and uh, recover the tantalum metal. And Nick sent me one other thing. Um, we had had some discussions about my hobby of uh, retro computing, so he sent me some other some other ceramic EEPROMs, some older older low density EEPROMs that would be you know period correct for retro computers. You know if you were repairing one, an old computer, or you were you were building one, a modern one out of old parts. Got some nice period correct older EEPROMs here that would be right at home in a retro computing project. So, thank you very much, Nick. These these could come in very handy for me in my uh, other hobby of retro computing. I've got way too many hobbies. So anyway. Um, I need to get started on these chips, uh, see what I can get out of them. Now, I was telling Nick that this would probably take a little while. My process is not fast. Um, I'm going to dissolve the legs off these in AP solution, and that's going to take, oh, that could take a month or two. 
then after that we'll move on to all the other steps in the process incineration uh, crushing uh, gravity separation um, base metal extraction and then finally into aqua regia to get the gold and then we'll drop the gold out and see what we get so this is going to take a little while so but look for that video in the future it will come along in the future but it may be a few months down the road by the time I get done dealing with all of Nick's chips and we see how much I get out of them now it's a pretty mixed bag we got here there's some flat packs there's some there's a whole lot of dips dips in here dual inline chips this bag has a lot more flat packs in it and fewer dual inlines uh, generally speaking the more legs a chip has the more gold it has so you know this chips gonna generally have a lot more gold than say this chip not always a hard and fast rule but that's usually the way it works these these chips that have like 200 legs on them they're gonna have like 200 bond wires in them a chip like this that has 40 legs on it is gonna have 40 bond wires so it's a mixed bag so the, some of these chips are gonna have a lot of gold some of them are not gonna have very much at all Ooh, that's part of a gold quarter BGA in fact I've seen a couple of those in there the tops of gold quarter BGA's those will up the gold those will up the gold amount a bit there's those are pretty rich in gold but like I say it's a mixed bag so a lot of these chips aren't gonna have much gold in them some of them are gonna are gonna have a fair amount so we're gonna average somewhere I don't know probably towards the low end I'm thinking but you never know Sometimes even I get surprised. I wind up with more gold than I expect. Anyway, thank you very much, Nick. This is this is going to be fun processing all this stuff and working with these uh, older EPROMs in my retro computing projects. And look for the upcoming video where I process this stuff. And if anybody else wants to get in touch with me, go to my blog, mdpub.com, mdpub.com. I'll put a link uh, down here in the caption. Well, not a link. I'll put, I'll, put the, I'll put the blog address down here in a caption and a link in the uh, video description. And you can email me and we can chat about any issues you're having, you know, with your scrapping or any, any questions you might have. Hit me up. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you found it all interesting. Subscribe to see future videos. Press the little bell icon. YouTube makes you press to be notified when they come out because there will be future videos. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.